And maybe the fourth tyranny is the most difficult of all. We have to get rid of the camera. Always leave a space after making that statement. There's a way in which the camera is essentially a mimetic tool which tells us how the world exists. And what it tells us is always going to be less interesting than what's really happening out there. In a sense, we have invented the cinema too high up the Richter scale. We've entered it at level six, and we really ought to enter it at level zero. Let me offer you two quotations. Picasso said, I do not paint what I see, but what I think. And Eisenstein, who for me is by far the only filmmaker we can talk about without embarrassment up against Michelangelo and Beethoven, goes to California and he meets Walt Disney and he says that Walt Disney is the only true filmmaker. Okay, forget Walt Disney, the sentimental American, the radical right-wing politician, forget all that crap, but just think what Eisenstein was talking about. He was suggesting, in a sense, that Walt Disney, in his barest terms, started from the ground, started from ground zero. So I think there's a way that this mechanical device, of which there are now three looking at me, is very much based upon this notion of mimicry, recording what we already know, making pictures through our eyes, as opposed to what, I, to what Picasso said, making a manifestation essentially of what we think. There are ways and means, of course, that that camera has to change its organization, has to change its responsibility. Maybe in the last 50 years, after the director, the most important person in cinema was the cameraman. But the cameraman has almost diminished entirely in significance and importance because every single frame can be remade. Every single frame can be recropped, reorganized, recolored. Thousands of things you can do with it that in some senses the actual responsibility of the cameraman or the camera woman has grossly diminished. So the most important person now is the editor the editor who reconfabulates that image. So I think if we tackle these four tyrannies, the tyranny of text, the tyranny of the frame, the tyranny of the actor, and the tyranny of the camera, then we will begin to understand where perhaps we ought to go next.